Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about the question cocoa eating bananas. It's a standard question which is uh, available on Lead Code, and as you can see, this has been asked in a lot of companies like Amazon and Google and Facebook and so on, right? So uh, this question actually is from the series of binary research. Yeah. If you do not know what binary search is, and more importantly, if you do not know what binary search on answer space means, please check out my previous videos. That's where the concept is. Okay. Having said that, let's begin. So in this question, um, let's read what this question is trying to say. Um, we'll understand the question, and second thing, we'll also, uh, you know, try to walk through that how we do we derive at a conclusion that a particular question can be solved using a concept of binary search. Okay. Cool. So Coco loves to eat bananas. There are some piles of bananas, and uh, every pile, every ith pile is nothing but calls it piles of i, and they are nothing but bunch of bananas. The guards have gone and will come back in some hour. Uh, Coco can e decide her bananas per hour eating speed as k. Each hour she chooses some pile of bananas and eats the bananas according to the speed. Uh, if the pile has less than you know k bananas like if k is her capacity of eating bananas in one hour and is suppose in if any pile the number of bananas are less than that capacity what she does is she eats all of them which is there in the pile okay but will not eat any more bananas during that hour that means that suppose if her capacity of eating bananas is five okay but a particular bunch of banana only has four bananas right so in that hour she'll only eat four bananas right it's okay if even though her capacity is of eating five but the only bananas which are available in that pile are four she'll only eat four right she will not choose to eat bananas from the next pile so that is what the question is saying coco likes to eat slowly but still wants to finish eating all the bananas before the guards return okay so return the minimum uh, integer k such that she can eat all bananas within h hours so this is where the constraint is given that we are supposed to find out the minimum speed why am i saying speed because they have mentioned that k is nothing but bananas number of bananas coco can eat in one hour which is nothing but the definition of speed right so they are asking us what is the speed minimum speed okay by which i can choose to you know uh, the coco can choose to eat bananas okay with a constraint that at a time only she can eat bananas you know from one pile okay she, but by using that uh, speed whatever she chooses she should be able to finish eating all the bananas within the h hours which is given to us in question right let's try to understand this question a little better right so we have those the first input which is in the question which says 3 6 7 11 and i think it says um, yeah 3 6 7 11 and you have total number of hours in which you should finish eating your bananas is nothing but 8 right so this is what is told us so what is this this actually signifies that these are nothing but the number these are nothing but piles of bananas right so in the first in i mean your zero eight index you have a pile which has three bananas right in the first index you have a pile of bananas which has six bananas in it right pile two has seven and pile three has eleven so we have to choose with some value okay some speed which we need to choose such that when you you know you if coco decides to use that uh, you know that speed of eating bananas that let's say the value is k okay then she should be able to finish eating all these bananas 3 6 7 and 11 bananas in how many hours 8 hours right so let's assume that suppose uh, we have let's say we have some values here k1 and k2 right let's say this is value is around somewhere around 4 and this is around 5 okay suppose if i use 4 as my speed of eating bananas right and let's say the number of hours i get okay which i need to complete eating all these bananas according to the constraint is some let's say h1 okay which is less than or equal to 8 let's assume by eating by, by choosing a speed of 5 okay i take around h2 hours and that also this hours which i have is less than or equal to 8 right so now we have two speeds here right 4 and 5 and both are kind of you know satisfying the constraint that a number of hours taken needs to be less than or equal to 8 so among this question is saying give me the minimum speed so what the answer will be your answer would be 4 because that is the minimum speed so that is what they are trying to tell us right that's what the question is all about fine so if you remember from the previous discussion of binary search and answer space the first hint to apply that concept is that we are asked some minimum value right so here we have asked some minimum speed so we kind of tick mark the first hint right the second the most important hint was that can we come up for the speed right for the solution what we are asking can we come up with some range can we say for any test case you know your speed will always lie between so and so value let's talk about it right now if you look at the question right they tell you that 
that that array they have mentioned that array as piles right and they've said that this piles of i okay is having some constraint let's go to the question and see if we can see here piles of i is going to lie between 1 to 10 raised to 9 so 1 to 10 raised to 9 what does this signify it means that in in any bunch okay in any bunch of banana minimum at least one banana will be present correct so i can have uh, my array like this right uh, which means that i can have one pile which has a minimum value of one but according to the question constraint i cannot have something like this this is not allowed because i cannot have my array element as zero according to this constraint okay why am i discussing this the reason is i'm trying to come up with the range and this is very important that to understand what to come up with the range we need to understand the question story i mean what is the story in the question and secondly what are the constraints so tell me if this is my you know piles of bananas right let's erase the last second part which is not possible now tell me at what is the minimum banana what is the amount minimum number of bananas i can be eating in one hour can my minimum uh, you know eating uh, the minimum number of bananas which i am eating in one hour okay kind of is equal to my minimum value in my array think about this for a minute the minimum value in my array right now is basically one right and i also know that no matter what array i get my all array elements are going to lie between 1 to 10 raised to 9 so can i not say that the minimum bananas okay i will be eating in one hour will be at least one correct i'll at least still eat one banana no matter what the test case is right and what is the maximum bananas you can be eating maximum number of bananas which you can be eating in one hour it can be you can be tempted to say 10 raised to 9 right because we have a constraint of 10 raised to 9 right but think about this let's assume let's go with this and we'll then you know modify we let's take the same example 1 2 8 and what is it 1 2 8 and 10 right let's say in the first hour okay let's say r1 your speed is suppose you say you are going to have a minimum speed of 1 right or let's say your minimum uh, your maximum speed okay let's go with this we are saying a maximum speed of 10 raised to 9 because we just said that maximum speed speed can be for any test case at least 10 raised to 9 so if it is 10 raised to 9 tell me because depending upon the question in first hour i can eat only one banana if i choose this pile correct can i eat more than one banana for this pile no because the question said in one hour you can choose any one of the pile and from that pile you can only choose you choose to eat bananas only from that pile correct so let's say even in the first hour i choose this pile which has the maximum number of bananas i still cannot eat 10 raised to 9 bananas right because in that pile i have only 10 right so that means the maximum number of bananas which you can eat in one hour is actually equal to the maximum value which is present in the array maximum value which is present in the array or in other words what are the maximum bananas which can be present in one group of bananas correct so now with this understanding can we say that the speed of eating our bananas right for cocoa is going to always lie between one to the maximum you know number of bananas in one pile which actually translates to you know the maximum value in your array okay and in the name of the array is piles so whatever maximum value is there so you are for any test cases right your speed is always going to lie between one to the maximum value in the array correct so we have even ticked off the second hint the first hint was that we are supposed to find out the minimum speed so some minimum value and second is for the solution that for the text, what solution you are asking your solution is to find speed right so for speed we can come up with the range that the speed is always going to lie between one to the maximum value which we can find in the array right so we have come up with both this it kind of satisfies both the conditions and now we can think about applying binary search on this question i hope this is clear yeah okay so let's now try to now the only bit which is remaining is what do we or what do we write in is possible function correct i strongly advise you all if you have not seen the previous uh, video about what binary search and answer space is this is your time pause this video go back to that video you know it's just around six eight to eight minutes video complete that video you will understand better all right okay so moving on now 
let's try to you know solve this question or understand this question through an example so the example which we were looking at is 3 6 7 and 11 right so these are the indices okay and uh, we have said that h is equal to 8 according to the earlier discussion we can say the speed of eating bananas is going to lie between 1 to the maximum value in the array which is 11 correct so we have the speed is always going to lie between 11 and we are now interested in finding the minimum speed okay so this is what we are at now because we have a sorted sequence between 1 to 11 you can apply binary search on this right binary search on solution space why am i saying now solution spaces because this is the space or this is the range for a solution what is the solution you're trying to find out is speed so that's why it's binary search on solution space correct so binary search i think it's very easy now you find out the middle right so 1 and 11 the middle is 1 plus 11 by 2 so it's 12 by 2 which is equal to 6 right in a traditional binary search what we usually do is we equate the middle value to the target value correct here because it's an application of binary search what you need to do is you have to plug in the value 6 and ask yourself a question can 6 be a possible answer to this question right how do we do that let's see it's very easy uh, let's change the color we had 3 we had 3 6 we had 7 and 11 let's assume that the speed which we are looking at is equal to 6 that means at a time we can eat how many bananas we can eat 6 bananas right so in the first hour okay let's show let's go you know from index number 0 right so how many bananas will you eat you will eat all three bananas how many are left 0 can you eat anything from your no so this is as it is in hour 2 what can we do we can go to pile number one and how many bananas we can eat we can eat a max of six bananas so all the bananas will be eaten in hour two or seven and eleven in the third hour right let's go to pile number two here how many bananas are there seven but how many can you eat at a time only six so seven minus six how many are left one is left and this is left hour four in the fourth hour what is going to happen is we are going to say um, how many we're going to eat so if there are only one bananas you know in this pile but the speed is six right but at a time you can only choose to eat from one pile so again you're going to eat only one banana and that is going to consume your entire fourth hour right now hour five okay here how many bananas will you eat out of 11 you can eat six what are left five in the sixth hour you are going to choose to eat all these five bananas. Why? Because five is less than or equal to the speed of eating bananas, which is six. So we are going to take this. So how many actually hours you took to eat all these bananas with a speed of equal to six? Total number of hours you can see is six, right? So six hours are required to eat all the bananas, okay, with a speed of six, right? So like a bit of synchronicity here, but this number of hours is less than or equal to eight, which is given to us in question, right? So they told us that we're supposed to find out such speed that, you know, the total number of hours taken needs to be less than or equal to eight, right? So it is just satisfying, right? So we can say that, you know, the speed can be a possible answer for this question, okay? It is as good as saying that your A of mid is equal to equal to target value right so we can say six can be a possible answer so let's say in my possible answer i put my value as six but what is the next thing you're trying to look at you're trying to actually solve for minimum speed that means now we have to again look for where we have to try to look for between low to mid minus one right because we're trying to figure out can i come up with this you know can i uh, come up with a speed which is less than six and it does satisfy the question when you say satisfy the question is basically this constraint can it satisfy right so this is basically binary search right whatever we did here right putting plugging in the value of six in the story of the question and you know trying to you know see whether it satisfies the equation is what you will be writing in your is possible uh you know method right let's solve for one and five you will have a mid of six by two which is nothing but three so now again we are going to check can 3 be a possible answer to the question right so again you have the array which is 3 6 7 and 11 and let's try to ask ourselves can you how many number of hours will it take to eat all these bananas if the speed of eating banana is 3 okay now let's try to come up with a formula for this right see tell me at a for this 3 how many hours will you take to eat 3 bananas you will take 1 hour correct if you had to uh, eat six bananas, how many hours will you take 
two hours. Why? Because in the first hour you will eat three bananas, and the second hour you will eat the remaining three bananas. Correct? For seven, how many hours will you take? Again, two hours. Why? In the first hour you will eat three bananas. You are left with four, which can be no. Uh, sorry. In the so this is for three, right? So this you are taking how many? Two hours. Correct? This is basically you are taking three uh, for the first three for this. Here what you are going to do is you are going to eat three bananas in the uh, in the first time, right? This is again what is left with four. So if it is four, mean how many bananas you are going to take? Three bananas here, and in the last you will have one banana. So basically you are going to have what? Three hours instead of two. Right. What about 11? 11, what we can say, how many hours will you take? First time you are going to eat 3 bananas. So what will be left is 8. Out of 8, again 3 bananas, which is 5. Then 5 will have 2 bananas, right? And then you can finish off. So how many hours is it total? It will be basically total 4 hours. Right? Can I write a formula for this? Yes. Can I say 3 divided by 6 and, sorry, 3 divided by 3 because the speed is 3. Yes, can we take, you know, try to come up with a formula for this. So, we had 3, right? So, can I say 3, which is your pile, number of bananas in a pile, divide by 3 and take a ceiling of it. This was nothing but 1. So, it is 6. So, 6 divided by 3, you get basically 2 and ceiling of a, a whole number is 2 itself. What about this? Let's say 7 divided by 3. What you get here, if you have to completely divide 7 by 3, what you get is around, you know, a number around two point something, right? You get two point something. And if you take a ceiling of this, the closest integer to two point something is basically three. So that is your answer, right? For your, what is it going to be? 11 divided by three. Now, 11 divided by three actually is around 3.66, right? If I have to take, you know, the closest number to 3.66 is the whole number is nothing but so actually you can come up with the, this is the formula, right? Whatever number of bananas you have, divide by the speed and take a seal of it. Is the total number of hours taken to completely finish that pile, right? Just taking a simple addition of this, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is going to give you a value around 10, right? And this number is, is it less than or equal to 8? No, right? If this is not less than or equal to 8, then we can say that the speed of 3 is not a possible answer, right? So if speed of 3 is not a possible answer, right what you need to do is we have to try to uh, check whether it's possible to have a higher speed than this so you're going to do basically a low equal to mid plus one so your mid was three so it's going to be four and your high value is actually pointing to five let's check that whether our high is pointing to five or no right so here we had a value of basically one to five out of which the mid was three so now you're going to have 1, 4, 2, 5. Now, between 4 to 5, you're going to again do the same exercise and, you know, going to come up and check whether it is possible, right? So, you will see that between 4 and 5, the mid value is equal to 4. And if you do the same exercise, you will be able to uh, get a value, total number of hours taken as 8, which is less than or equal to 8. And so, 4 can be the possible answer. So, earlier answer from earlier answer was 6. Now, we have got a minimum one. So, we are going, uh, we are going to replace the speed with equal to Right. So you see the beauty of your uh, binary search. So we got an answer as four, which can be a possible, uh, you know, speed. Right. Now, again, again, because you've got a possible speed, you're going to try to, you know, reduce your, uh, you know, search space. When you reduce the search space, you're going to have your lowest still pointing to four. Your, your high is going to point to mid minus one, which is equal to three. And this is going to stop your binary search, right? And final answer you get this, the minimum speed at which you can eat bananas such that you finish eating all the bananas within eight hours is a speed of four, right? If you go back and uh, check in the lead code for the first uh, input, which we had taken as an example, you can see the answer is also four, yeah? So this is how you would solve this question. Right? Let's go and look at the code, you know, for this particular question, right? So um, this is like your minimum eating speed. You wrote in a function, you have number of uh, your array, simple array, and you have the h, right? So I'm going to find out the maximum value from my array so that that becomes my, you know, um, for the range, right? So my low value is one and my high value is nothing but the maximum value present in the array, right? The answer is nothing going to be where I'm going to store the actual minimum speed for my question. This is a simple binary search. Low less than or equal to high only changes your where you actually write a of mid equal to equal to target. Instead of that, now you're going to have a function. So I name this function as is possible. You can name it any how you want it, right? So I'm going to say if is possible, 
uh, mid my piles and h right so this is basically a binary uh, this particular function is a boolean function that means it's going to return a boolean value so if it returns a true i'm going to store this as a possible answer and going to you know try to find a minimum value so that's why i equal to mid minus one if not then obviously i have to increase my search space so low equal to mid plus one finally after this while loop if i get the answer the answer will be in the variable ans right let's look at the is possible function right so we are just trying to see if this is my if can this key be my possible speed so what you do is you're supposed to find out the number of hours required you know to eat all the bananas right so whatever we did right taking a division and taking a seal of it if i have to write it into code i am going to do is use a function math dot seal right just make sure that these pile and key both are integers so for as per you know your logic of um, you know uh, you just have to make sure if you want a decimal point answer you have to make sure that one of them is becomes a double so i've just type casted this into double so, so that i get a value like 3.5 3.6 whatever and then can convert into a seal value so method seal hey this is going to uh, give me total number of hours which i will be requiring if i use a speed of which is equal to key if my total number of hours which i you know need to eat bananas if that is less than or equal to h which is what the constraint of my question so i'm going to return true saying that it is possible that key can be a possible speed right that's the only thing this is possible does so whenever you get a similar question which is based on you know by research and answer space most of the thing is going to remain same what change is going to happen is in this function right because depending upon what the story of the question is you will have to plug in that code here yeah i hope this makes sense let's look at the time complexity if you see your this is a traditional binary search so this should take login correct but what changes here is that whenever you're trying to check whether the middle value is a possible answer or no you are actually making a you know code you're running a for loop and that is going to take o of n or linear time right so the total time complexity would be n times into log n so o of n log n will be the total time complexity for this code space complexity is constant because i'm using a simple iterative version of binary search yes i hope this helps you know as future practice you can solve similar questions right you know which you can see here there is a similar question on geeks for geeks which is called as book allocation problem that also you can you based on the concept of binary search on answer space i hope this helps